Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Makeup Forever's. This is called Rouge Artist Sculpting Shine On Lipsticks. They came out with 21 different shades. I got my hands on four different lip colors, actually five, and they are running for $23 and it's supposed to have a 12 hour satin high shine finish on our lips. It's supposed to be really pigmented as hyaluronic acid infused in the formula as well as red cranberries. So it's supposed to keep our lips nice and hydrated and plump and I'm really excited to test these out because of the packaging you guys once you see it, it is so different. It definitely grabbed my attention and I couldn't wait to try these out. Apparently they have like an oval shape to it, the little tube of lipstick that's supposed to, you know, glide on effortlessly the shape of our natural lips. So today we're going to be testing them out. We're going to see how does it look on, how does it feel on, is this actually worth picking up, is it actually pigmented, what's the whole situation. When it comes to these lipsticks, and I hope you all enjoyed today's video, everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's jump on in and try these on. But with Joyful Petal, this is number 180. And on our, the website is described as a rose lip shade. And let me tell you, it is definitely a rose. It has a pinky undertone. It glides on effortlessly. It definitely has a satin finish. It glided on like butter. So I'm really excited to try them on on my lips just because I feel like it might glide on like butter, make it so easy to apply on. So I'm really excited, love the satin finish to it. Let me go over the packaging really quickly because I found it to be really interesting. It's very different than our typical tube of lipstick. It is red. It's kind of hard to tell when you're looking at all five different lip shades, to be honest, because they all kind of look the same except the bottom of each of the lipsticks you will see the colors to them so that is the only thing they're kind of big and bulky it looks like a little like a little i would say like a like a bullet <laughs> But I personally like it. It's different, you know, each to their own. But once you take off the top, mainly, the, this is basically it, you guys. This is mainly the top, and then it's like a normal tube of lipstick. To be really honest, it does feel really inexpensive. It doesn't feel very luxe to me. Um, it, but I feel like the formula is definitely there. It does have like an oval shape to the lipstick that mentioned on their website that is made to perfectly fit the natural shape of our lips to make it really easy to apply on. So, so far, really love that and I really love the scent to it. It smells different. I'm assuming it's, this is the smell of red cranberries. I'm not really sure but I personally feel like it is and I personally really like it. It's really nice and soft. You have to get really close to the tube lipstick to actually pick up the scent to it but so far this is basically it you guys. It's definitely definitely a mood. So let's go ahead and try on Joyful Petal. Cheerful Beige. This is number 132 described on their website as a warm beige lip shade. And let me tell you, I'm very excited to try this one out. You guys don't hear my channel. I love a good nude and I feel like this lip color falls into that nude category for me. So I'm really excited to test this out. I feel like this is the perfect everyday type of lip color. You can pop this on. It will go with any type of eye look. You can dress it up or down depending on the lip liner of your choice. A nude lip liner or maybe more of a taupey lip liner if you just kind of want to give it a little bit more definitely definition or a little bit more depth, but I absolutely love this lip color. It's so, so pretty. So far, it's looking really pigmented. I'll let you guys know once I apply it on if I notice any separation or anything once I press my lips together, but overall, I'm really excited to test this out. So let's jump on in and try on Cheerful Beige. shade. This one is called Ideal Chai, described on their website as a warm brown lip shade. This is number 134, and let me tell you, it is the most beautifulest, perfect chai lip shade. I absolutely love it. I feel like it is not too pigmented, but pigmented enough. You can lightly apply this on. This is perfect everyday type of lip color. I feel like you can wear this fall or winter season, but I feel like you can honestly wear this throughout the entire year just because of the undertones that it has. I feel like 
everyone can wear this lip shade and you'll see like a little hint of color on your lips. I think it'll look so, so pretty on. So I'm really excited to apply this on. You can wear a chocolate brown espresso type of lip liner or you can even pair it together with like a more of a kind of like light brown type of lip color, like a nude lip liner. I feel like that would work as well. But overall, I personally really love the undertone. I'm really excited to try this on. So let's jump on in to try on Ideal Chai. lip shade this one is number 130 this is called jubilant caramel this is described as a light neutral peach lip shade and I absolutely love it as well I feel like this is another peachy nude type of lip color I feel like this will complement many skin complexions I feel like you can never go wrong with a nude I feel like you can wear it day or night it's just an easy go-to type of lip color like you can never go wrong with the nude you know what I mean <laughs> but overall I personally really love it I feel like it definitely has a peachy undertone to it and I do like the name so far that they picked for these lip shades they are very unique and I love the idea that they added a name and and a numbering system so in case you cannot pronunciate the names <laughs> of the lip shades at least you have the numbering system as an option for you so let's try on jubilant caramel shade which I can't believe we're already at the end of the swatches you guys it has gone by so quickly this is number 182 this is called jolly blush described on their website as a warm baby pink lip shade and to be really honest I don't know if it's just me and my colorblind or something but to be really honest I do not see a brown undertone to this baby pink I will see when I'm editing this video maybe it'll look different but to be honest I feel like it has more of a warm undertone to this baby pink but overall I personally love it it's if you love a pink lip color this might be an option for you I personally don't wear lip colors like this but I actually like it I am hoping that I might actually like it on it just because I love that it's subtle it's neutral it's perfect everyday type of lip color and if you just want a light blush of color I feel like this will look really pretty on especially for the summer springtime absolutely love it for the daytime I personally like the undertone so let's go ahead and try on Jolly Black So I just finished trying on all five lip colors or lipsticks. Let's go ahead and talk about them. So I already know which, which lip color I'm not a fan of. It is number 180. It is called Joyful Petal. I no no Joyful Petal. This is not a lip shade for me. I just want it to be too pink in the undertone. So that is the only thing. If you love a true like pink lip color, I think this is actually described as a rose. This might be an option for you, but at least for me, I wasn't a huge fan of it. The other four, loved them. They were beautiful. I can definitely see myself wearing them again. As for the packaging, you guys, I don't know what it is. I'm just not a huge fan of the packaging. It's just tall, thick, and chunky. You don't really know what lip color you're grabbing unless you look at the bottom of the packaging. It feels really cheap in my opinion, unfortunately. I was expecting more from Makeup Forever just because I feel like they're more of a higher end brand. And so that's the only thing. But obviously what matters the most is the lipstick itself. And I do love the oval shape that it has to the lipstick. I feel like it felt, it fit perfectly on my lips when I was applying on this lipstick. So I personally really love that they did that. I love the light cranberry scent that I feel that it has. It's really lightly scented, so you'd have to get really close to pick up a scent. As for the consistency of these lipsticks, you guys, it glided on effortlessly like butter. You don't have to apply on any pressure. You can definitely layer this on. They are very pigmented. I definitely feel like they have a satin finish. And it, to be really honest, you can layer this on 
And even though it feels like you definitely feel like you have something on your lips, you would think that when you press your lips together, the formula would separate and you can kind of see the separation of the lip color. And you do not. You can definitely press your lips together. Everything stays into place. I personally am very impressed with the formula. Unfortunately, I'm not so impressed with the packaging. I think this is very specific. I think if you're a collector and you this is grabbing your attention, pick one up and just store it away. Um, just because I definitely feel like the packaging is very unique. Um, but for $23, is it actually worth it? I feel like if you're looking to splurge and just wanna try this out for yourself, you know, I personally love the lip colors that I picked up. I definitely can see myself wearing them. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging just because it's just thick and chunky. It's gonna take up a whole bunch of space. I personally like small little bags, so this is gonna take up a lot of space really quickly. So that is the only thing I would have to be in the mood to kind of ha wear this lip color and carry it around with me. So that is the only thing. But overall, I love the lip shades. It just depends on your personal preference if you want to try them out for yourself. So as for a plumbing effect, girl, I do not feel any tingling sensation or anything like that but I definitely feel like my lips like I feel like I have something on my lips and they feel really moisturized so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything of course will be linked down below if you have any questions comment down below ask away I am always here to help also let me know which lip shade was your favorite as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye